to talk about his experience moving to the cloud. Don, can you introduce yourself really quickly and um, tell us a little bit about what OptiStore does? Sure, I'm uh, Don. Um, with OptiStore Technologies, we're a uh, regional uh, systems integrator. It's primarily focused in storage and storage networks, storage area networks. What um, made you look towards the cloud as a solution for uh, email and collaboration? Well, we were, we were already using cloud services just through our ISP, basically, pop through email, and uh, really running into a lot of problems with service delivery, losing emails, that kind of thing, and uh, needed something that was a little more reliable. It was uh, more assured delivery, basically, of emails. Okay, interesting. And um, did you just look at Microsoft, or did you look around at other vendors? You no, know, we looked at Microsoft. Uh, we looked at what Google was offering. Gmail and uh, some other companies they've acquired, um, and we we actually thought about bringing this bringing it in house and mm -hmm. uh, and building out our own exchange environment, mm -hmm. which we opted against. We, we actually have an exchange environment in house for for our lab for mm -hmm. testing and things that we do there. But uh, kind of like the uh, you know the cobbler's children, we don't really um, wear nice shoes, but we don't right. make nice shoes. So. <laughs> some of the key factors that made you choose um, online versus your building it on prem um, Cost was one. Um, just an improved service uh, capability, a lot richer set of services through uh, what we found with the Microsoft online services. Um, you know, email is the first thing we were looking at, we're looking to uh, using you know, live meeting and uh, SharePoint as well. So. And all of that for the uh, for the money that we're spending is very good value, I think. Mm -hmm. So speaking of live meeting, um, do you have remote workers that are outside of the Pacific Northwest that you connect with, or what was the, the main? Primarily thing? customers uh -huh. and customer interaction. More and more, the customers expect uh, you know to able to get in front of them in some way, whether it be in person or over the web. Mm -hmm. We're using. Um, Conferencing services that that we we'll cut over. we have not done so yet, but we'll cut over a live meeting. It will be an additional savings. Right. Well, so. so you're paying a monthly fee for That's those right. conferencing services. Right. right. And now you just get the added benefit of it as part of the suite. Right. So the, the mobile device feed, if you will, is uh, is an added bonus. It's something that that uh, you know, we in addition to exchange, we would have had to put up a, a BlackBerry enterprise right. server. Right, I was going to ask you what mobile devices do your employees use? Uh, iPhone and Blackberries, right. you know, both the combination of both. So for um, the business owners or um, IT administrators out there watching this video, do you have any advice that you would give them um, along their journey to discovering what cloud services work best for them? Um, I think just pay very close attention to service levels. I mean, the reason we moved to the Microsoft solution is that the service level we had with our previous provider was a you know one size fits all kind of service mm -hmm. level, which didn't work well for our, for our business. And so I'd say understand uh, the level of service that you're going to get and make sure that it meets meets the needs of your business prim primarily. Certainly, cost and other things are are a factor, but. Um, you know, for a smaller organization like ours, I don't know that you can justify spending the money on an environment you, that you own and, and have to manage and care for. It's given us some things with uh, mobile device connectivity, you know, calendaring that's uh, much improved over what we had before, that really has, uh, has, has improved our ability to uh, conduct business. And, uh, you know, all the price points that I think is, uh, would be pretty tough to touch if we were to do it ourselves. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time.